my gift is to give back. And the ability to give back, man, if you help these guys, and we have 90 guys here, all won't be able to stay. But at, and at some point, you've helped them move forward on another team or in life. You did your job. You did your due diligence, man. I know you've only had these uh, these rookies for a little bit, but who's kind of stood out to you and maybe surprised you a little bit? Uh, it was a combination. Uh, I wouldn't say just one. It was a combination. All these guys came in, man, and, you know, from the first meeting, these guys have been hungry. And I'm not just giving you the playbook uh, version of my answer. These guys have been hungry. They have been consistent. Guys coming by your office uh, before they should. Sometimes they're walking with their breakfast in their hand just to sit by. And it's not what we call attendance, just coming by to say, well, I came by to see the coach. But guys that are real serious, guys that take being a professional seriously. Um, with Kelvin Winston and his crew do an awesome job getting these guys ready to understand what we call the Falcon U, but getting ready to understand what this journey is about to be. And I think these guys have now started taking hold of it. And it's not like, well, we have to wait the training camp. They've started from day one, understanding the accountability, understanding that you're walking into brotherhood. And what is brotherhood? We always say it. Like you throw it out there lightly, but you don't understand it. It's not something that we do, it's something that we live. It's totally different. So I think all the rookies have done a great job of adapting and understanding as, as barriers and things that we have to overcome because they're not up to speed, but we got a short time to get them up to speed and we're trying. Coach, the defense made major strides in all the four um, key categories, yards, uh, total yards, rush yards, pass yards, and, and scoring too. What do you all have to do to continue to improve as a union? And what are some of those uh, goals and objectives? Uh, like you said, the players by themselves set goals. The one thing that we talk about being consistent and showing being that I'm relentless. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we talk about, that's universal. Mm -hmm. We're going to be relentless, we're going to be tough, and we're going to be smart. And when we say being intelligent, that's what? Doing my job a thousand percent of the time. So I do my job so my brother can do his, but I have to do my job great at a very, very high level. And with that comes everything that they put their hearts out and desires out. And like I said, when we come back, the guys sit down and they put their goals out. Numerically, you guys are going to be on stats. That's what the media is driven by, which is not a bad place. But honestly, the thing about it is, what are we going to do to help win a championship? And that's how it is. It's going to take every man on defense to be able to do it. And that's where we start from. And Coach pointed out to, to me at the owners meeting that you're in nickel 70% of the time. Uh, you know, how's that changed from, from uh, the good old days? And, <laughs> and uh, you know, and getting Vic back at defensive end there, too. Uh, Coach said he's permanently moving back there. Well, let's talk about the first one that you nickel. Let's talk yeah. about nickel. Nickel with this game is a passing lead. Even though we just talked about the helmet, the game is a passing lead. And understanding that most of the time teams have tight ends, they be in what we call 12 or Tiger, mm -hmm. and these guys can run. So you have to have skilled guys able to cover those guys. Mm -hmm. So I think that the game is evolving, not just us, the game is evolving. But at times you play teams that still get the fullback and, mm -hmm. get the, and the running back the ball. Uh, so you have to be prepared both ways. I think it's a uh, it's a balance between the two. But you always want the players on the field that have the best chance to win. Mm -hmm. Now, moving Vic back, that's one of the things like that we're excited about. The mm -hmm. consistency that we can get from him. You know, we asked a lot, and I told you guys last year. That's a, that's what the brotherhood is. Vic made a sacrifice to help us all out. He played multiple positions for us to go at. You guys said we got better. And little did they talk about that he was a big part of that as well. Ability to do certain things that when we were playing him at linebacker, that helped us out. When we were playing him at end, that helped us out. So, you know, again, Vic's taking the ownership, and we love that part about it. And he's here putting in the work, so we're excited to see where he's going. Thanks, Coach.